Today we're going to learn a solo arrangement of California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. This was voted on over at my Patreon page, where every month we do a different arrangement based on the votes of my patrons. And you can actually download the tab for this, as well as all the other lessons I do here on YouTube over there. So check it out if you haven't already. It's in the link in the description below. But let's go ahead and dive into California Dreamin'. And the first stanza of measures looks something like this. So we're going to start, we're going to make certain that we pay attention to the lyrics that are shown here. So when we see all the leaves are brown, it's really important to play these notes louder. And then you'll notice there's some strum fills and we'll talk about what these symbols mean as we work through it. But we're going to start with open A, two on the A, and you can use your middle finger here on the two, then open A, and then three on the E, you can use your ring finger. And that's going to be all the leaves are and then it's going to do brown. Now for brown, what we're going to do here is we're going to play an A minor chord, and we're going to take our index finger place on the second fret of the G string, and we're going to strum through with our thumb, because you'll notice right now there's no strum marker written above it. Anytime there's no strum marker with this tab, we're implying that you should just use your thumb going through. But you'll notice the next three things, or four things going on here, is going to involve these little symbols. So what this symbol means, the little, you know, partial box, three quarters of a box, means a down strum. So you're going to use your index finger and do a down strum there. So in this case, it's on an A minor chord. We're going to do a down strum. And then it's going to switch to a G chord. So you just take your index finger here, place it on the second fret of the C string, add your ring finger here on the third fret of the E string, and your middle finger here to the second fret of the A. And we're going to go down, and then you'll notice there's a new symbol here, this little V. That's an up strum. So after we go down, we're going to come right back up. Then you'll notice there's a down strum written here with a bunch of X's. Now what this is, is a chunk. And if you don't know how to chunk, there's a video down below that I did with Ukulele Underground that teaches how to do the chunk. So check that out if you don't know how to do it. But we're going to do a chunk for that down strum. And then to finish this measure, we're going to do an up strum on an F chord. So take your middle finger, place on the second fret of the G string, index finger here on the first fret of the E string, and come up. So now that measure, starting at sort of brown there, we get brown, and then down, down, up, chunk, up. Pretty neat. If we throw in the earlier part that we worked on, the intro there of all the leaves are brown, we really start to get that feel. And I mentioned earlier, it's really important to play the lyrics louder. Anytime that you see a lyric on the on this, you want to play that note louder. And anytime there's not a lyric, make it a little bit more in the background. The reason for that is the lyrics are the melody, everything else is the harmony. We want the melody to be most forward. Now, as we go on to measure two here, because the first measure is technically a pickup bar, you'll notice we've got more melody notes. We're going to play open on the A string, and then two on the A with the middle finger. And the reason why I use my middle finger here is because this next thing is going to be this sort of, it's called a G sus two. The name's not really important, but you're gonna play a G chord and take the middle finger off. So the index is here on two of the C and ring finger here on three of the E. And that's going to be for the word sky. So we have and the sky. I'm going to play the three on the E two more times for the next two melody notes. Now. Little trick here, you'll notice that the lyric next to sky, it's a little slash. That's because the vocalist is going sky. They're, they're actually singing one, one word, <laughs> but they're singing two pitches over it. So we have sky is. And then we're going to go to gray, open on the E. And now we've got some filler. And this pattern you're going to notice, it's the same as what we played earlier on measure one. It's going to be happening a lot throughout the song. What it is, first we need to play the chord, a D sus two, index here on two of the G, middle here on two of the C, and we're going to go down, down, up, chunk, and then we're going to come up on an E7, but don't move your hand, because what you need to do is just take your index finger and slide it down one fret to fret one, leave your middle finger where it is, and then add your ring finger on fret two of the A string, and come up. So we go into the fourth measure here, we're going to do another up and then down on that E7. From here we switch to 
a uh, kind of an F chord, we're going to play index on one of the E string and ring finger here on three of the A. Just strike your C, E, and A with your thumb. And that's the word I've and then been for a. Uh, the three on the A three more times. Those are louder again because they're melody. So let's hear what this sounds like now. This whole first stanza really slow. I'm going to kind of talk it through too as we go through and say the words as I play them. So all the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. I've been for a uh, pretty cool. One thing that you can do to help you with this is if you're trying to, if you're having trouble with the rhythm, is say the motions. So I'm gonna do it again saying the strum motions. All the leaves are brown, down, down, up, chunk, up. And the sky is gray, down, down, up, chunk, up, up, down. I've been for a, uh, right? Now, here's what's cool. Once you have that down, that, this first line, you pretty much have the whole song down because there's so much repetition. There are small variations as we go through, but it's really this feel going through the whole tune, which is awesome because it might be challenging at first. But as you get this, all the other measures get much easier. So now let's go on to measure five through measure eight. We're going to start here with a C chord, something a little different. Ring finger here on three of the A. We're gonna strum through with our thumb and that's for the word walk. And then we're going to go to a strum pattern. We're going to go down, switch to an E7. What we need to do here is take our ring finger on the third fret of the A string and slide it down to two on the A. Add your middle here to two of the C and your index here to one on the G. And we're going to go down, up, chunk. And then we're going to go to an A minor. And to do this, all that you need to do is take your ring off, middle off, and slide your index up one. And we're going to come up. So we have walk, down, down, up, chunk, up. Going into the melody here, it goes on a, and that's three on the A with your ring finger. And then on win of winter, we're going to take our index and place it here on the one of the E, leaving our ring finger here on three of the A, strum through the C, E, and A together. Winters, the three on the A again. And then we go back to that E7 we played at the beginning of this. We're going to just slide that ring finger down to two on the A, add our middle on two of the C, and our index on one of the G, strum through with the thumb, and then down. We're going to go to that D sus two we played earlier. Pretty cool little trick here is just take off the ring finger and slide the index up one to the two on the G, but leave the middle finger where it was. So you can see from the E7 to the D sus two, it's actually a pretty easy transition. We're going to go down, up, chunk, up. And when we do the up, we go back to the E7 chord. And then we're going to go up, down. And then the end melody section here is I'd be safe and, and you're going to play open on the E twice, I'd be, and then two on the E string. You can use your middle finger there. Safe and open on the E string again. So this whole measure, using a lot of the same, or same uh, techniques that were used on the previous stanza, right? Measures now five, six, seven, eight, should sound something like this. I'm gonna talk it through, I'm gonna say the words, I'm gonna say the strum pattern too. So it should be something like this. Walk, down, down, up, chunk, up. On a winter's day, down, down, up, chunk, up. Up, down, I'd be safe and. Now, as we go on to measure nine through 12 here, it's almost a repeat of earlier in the song when we played measures one uh, through that. We're going to start with the same sort of, you know, A minor, we're just going to add the three on the A string. So we're going to play two with our index on the G string and add the ring finger here, three on the A. And that's war, and then mm, warm. <laughs> we're going to play the open A. And then we're going to go some strumming. Go to our G chord, so the index just goes down to the C string. Build the rest of the G. Down, up, chunk. Switch to an F chord, up. And then open A, if. And then two on the A, use your middle finger, I. And then your index and ring are ready to go here to come on the three of the E and the two of the C to build a G chord. 
but take off the A string, the middle finger. So you're playing zero, two, three, zero, and that's the word was in L. And then we have A open on the E, uh, L A, <laughs> play the E string. Going back to that D sus two chord, so index here on two of the G, middle here on two of the C. We're going to go down, down, up, chunk, switch to the E7, just sliding those fingers over, up, and then up, down. And then one of the main hooks of the song, California. So on this very last part, we're going to play three on the A with our ring finger, two on the A with our middle, open on the A, and then this is not a mistype. Uh, it's going to be four on the E string, which we'll use our pinky, which you'll notice creates a lot of tension, which is really nice. Uh, California. And then that's the end of that stanza. So that should all sound something like this, starting with measure nine, going all the way through 12, saying everything too. It's going to go warm, down, up, chunk, up. If I was in L-A, down, down, up, chunk, up, up, down, California. Now as we go on to measure 13, dreamin', we're going to play the A minor chord with our index here on two of the G, but we're going to take our middle finger and add it to two of the A. And that's for dream, and then in, we're going to play open on the A. And this should look very familiar at this point because we're doing that same down, up, chunk, up with different chords. In this case, we're doing the G chord, down, up, chunk, and then switch to an F on the up. And now here on measure 14, really, really important to use the correct fingering, right? So sometimes we can get away with inefficient fingering and it just kind of works. Other times we can't. And this is a great instance of that because here on measure 14, we need to play this three with a little bar with our middle finger. The middle finger should be barred across the E and the A strings of the third fret to play that note. And the reason is, is the next thing that's played, such, the word such, is going to be five on the A and two in the C in addition to that three on the E. Sort of a, a G5 chord is what it's called. The name's not so important though, but you see that I'm doing that that bar with the middle, or the middle finger on three of the E and the A. And the reason here is when I play such, then I go to the word a, uh, it needs to be three on the A. And if I have that bar, I can just take my pinky off and add the five back on wind and then take it off for terse. If you don't do this, you might end up having a big problem because you go really choppy. But if you use this little trick, barring the three on the E and the A with the middle finger and then adding the other fingers, you can see it goes on such a wind terse way easier to play. Now, from here to the word day, such a winter's day. I like to use my middle finger to jump down here. Um, no matter what way you do this two on the A, it's going to be a little tricky because after it plays the word day, you're going to jump up your index and middle to two on the G and the C string. Play that same D sus two that we've been playing. And in this case, we're going to go down, down, up, chunk, Switch to the E7, up, up, down. And then we're going to play the words stopped in two A, uh, which are going to be open A, two A, open A, three E. And you can use your middle finger there on the two on the A and your ring finger there on the three of the E. So these lines should sound something like this, measures 13 through 16. Dream in, down, up, chunk, up, on such a winter's day. Down, down, up, chunk, up, up, down, stopped in to a. Uh. Going right on now to measure 17. You'll notice, again, a lot of repetition taking place here. We're going to be playing the A minor chord, church, and then down, G chord, down, up, chunk, up, on the F chord all very familiar. And then it gets a little bit different. So earlier in the song, when we did uh, the line going over that G chord where it goes, and the sky is, right, that we're, we wanted to finger it a certain way to make sure that we could be very efficient. Now we're actually going to finger it a different way to make it efficient for this situation. 
So on measure 18, when we play the three on the E string, we're going to use our ring finger on that three. Then we're going to play the open A, and then the three on the E again with the ring, and your index, or excuse me, your middle finger will come here to two on the C to play your G, C, and E strings together. So earlier when we played that, we would use our index, middle, and ring, and uh, now we're using just our middle and ring. The reason for this is because we don't have to play the two on the A at all, so we don't need to flip-flop. And we play the two on the C for the word the, and then open E for way. And we can leave our middle finger here the whole way, because you'll notice that when we go to the D sus2, 2200, the chord we play so much, it stays there. We do our down, down, up, chunk, switch to the E7, up. And then it does a big jump here. So after we come up on the E7, we're going to slide our ring finger all the way up to seven on the A. Play that twice. Five on the A with the index finger. Eight on the E with the pinky. Open on the A. And then we're going to play three on the E with our middle finger. Whew. That's a crazy measure, right? There's a lot going on there. Let's just look at measure 20 again. We're going to play seven with the ring twice. Five with the index, eight with the pinky, open on the A, middle finger go to three on the E. So here is measure 17, 18, 19, and 20 with again, some added importance on 18 and 20 with the fingering there. Looks something like this, A minor, starting with the word church. Here we go, we'll go church, down, down, up, chunk, up. I passed along the way, down, down, up, chunk, up. And then, oh, I got down on my. Pretty crazy, right? Now, as we go on to measure 21 here, we're going to go to the word knees. We're going to play a C chord. So ring finger here on three of the A. Strum through with the thumb. Starting a strum pattern here, we're going to then go down, E7, down, up, chunk, A minor, up. And then we immediately go to open A for the word and. Three, I, open A, pre, and then three on the A again, but add your index on one of the E string to play that zero, one, three that we played earlier. 10, and then open A twice, did two. So we have and I, pre, 10, did two. And then we go to the word pray, E7, strum through with the thumb, followed by down, and then D sus2 again, down, up, chunk, up on the E7 chord. Now at the end of this stanza, it's going to do something very similar to what we did at the end of the last one. We're gonna go way up. In this case, we're going to play the seven on the A four times, crazy, crazy. So all that we do here is we're at the E7, we slide our ring finger up to seven. We play that four times, you know the preach. And then er is going to be five on the A with the index finger. And then er, preach, or preach er. Now likes is going to be eight on the E string with the pinky. And then open on the A. So measures 21 through 24 should sound something like this. Knees down, down, up, chunk, up. And I pretended to pray down, down, up, chunk, up. You, you know the preacher likes the... <laughs> you heard I made a little flub there as I was reading on the tab. My finger overshot a little bit. It's very easy to go from that too, too high. So one little trick is when you're practicing it and you're trying to get it, you know, uh, comfortable, knowing that you're going to do that seven when you have it partially memorized, you can look at your fingers here and before you go to the seven, change your eyes to look at the seven and visualize that ring finger coming up. It's a trick that I use all the time when I'm playing songs I'm really comfortable with is I'm, I look ahead. I try to look at where my fingers will go to make sure I don't make the mistakes that I just did there. But let's go ahead and go on now to measure 25 through 28. A lot of familiarity here. We're going to play the A minor with the three on the A. Ring finger is going to be added on the A string. So we have cold, open A for the second part of cold. Then we're going to go to the G chord, down, up, chunk, and F chord, up. Three on the E with the ring finger, open A. 
And then zero, two, three, middle finger here on two of the C, ring here on three of the E, strum the G, C, and E strings. Open on the A, three on the E, open E again, back to your D sus two, down, down, up, chunk up on the E7, up, down, and then we're going to play California, which we're going to again slide up. Seven on the A with the ring finger, cal, five on the A with the index, eh. eight on the E with the pinky, four, and then really important, use your ring finger here on seven for yeah, California. <laughs> and that's because the next thing that we learn, we're going to need that ring finger to set it up. So keep that in mind. So 25 through 28 should sound something like this. Hold, down, up, chunk, up. He knows I'm gonna stay. Down, down, up, chunk, up, up, down, California. And then we go to our last stanza. We're so close to being done. This ring finger is going to slide all the way down to five on the E. And you're gonna add the index finger here to three on the A. It's kind of a different version of A minor, playing just your C, E, and A strings. And that gives you the word dream. And then N's going to be open. Followed by down up on the G, cool little note, that ring finger just slides down to three, right? We have dream and slide down, add the rest of the G, down up, chunk to an F chord, up. And then we've got that same little three on the A that we need to do the bar here. So measure 30 is exactly the same as uh, measure 14. And so we wanna make sure that we bar the three on the E and the A with our middle finger. And we're going to play just that three on the A and add the index on two of the C and pinky here on five of the A. Such a winters. And then we've got the ending now. We're going to go to the word day. We're going to play seven on the A, but what we're going to do here is we're going to use our pinky and then take our index and bar it across five, which is a sort of F chord. You hear it, it sort of sounds suspended. And what I like to do is take my middle finger and actually bar it across with the index. Makes it a little bit easier. And that's the word day. We're going to go down, down, up, down, up. And then we're going to go down one fret with our bar, but leave our pinky where it is. So we have four, 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 seven. Do a downstrom there. And that's going to be this E chord, E7. And then to finish the song, we're going to play open A, two on the A, open A, three on the E, just like we have some other times throughout the song and finish with an A minor, two, zero, zero, zero. And if you wanna get spicy, harmonics on the C, E, and A string. If you haven't learned how to do harmonics, I've got a video on it that's linked down below. So measure 29 through the end should sound something like this. Dream men down up, chunk up on such a winter's day. And there you have it. California dreaming all the way through. Again, you'll notice that it's a lot of the same stuff repeated. So it's it, odds are good you didn't even make it to this end of the video because once you start getting comfortable early on, you could see that repetition. So it's important to develop good habits, good muscle memory, make sure that you're using the correct fingering. And if you ever need to, rewind the video, pause, play, pause. YouTube is a fantastic tool to do that. Um, also a quick tip, you can actually, on the little gearbox setting on YouTube, you can adjust the playback speed to be slower or faster. So when I'm playing through any of these parts, you can actually slow it down if I talk too fast or play it too fast. But. There you have it, California Dreamin' all the way through. If you'd like to help vote on next month's song, please check out my Patreon page. Again, every month we do a vote to see what song's going to be covered. This one won this month. I think second place was Black Hole Sun, uh, which is a fantastic song too. Maybe someday it'll win. And uh, yeah, please check it out. It's really thanks to my patrons I'm able to do these videos. And uh, I really appreciate the support for all of you that have backed it. It's really an incredible thing. So thank you so much. I'll look forward to seeing you guys next month. Can't wait to see what you think up. Thanks so much. See you later.